7.44 WATD. It's time now for more Comfort Mondays. And Diane Jordan is in studio. Diane is the owner of Natural Body Works in Kingston. And more Comfort Mondays is our Monday segment all about how to create more comfort in your body, your mind, and soul. Diane, good morning. Good morning. Here we are back at it another <laughs> week. And uh, this week's topic is an anxiety ease hypnosis session, right? Yep. All right. Talk All right. about it. Thanks. So, okay. So this client was a man who came for anxiety ease hypnosis. So we start the session with talking about the specific anxiety symptoms the client's experiencing and how they want those to change. Mm -hmm. So this client shared with me that they've had an incredible amount of really challenging family issues with several deaths and illnesses, divorce, their own health is suffering. They had a lot going on. Oh, that is a lot all at once, I would think. Really, yeah. So they were experiencing symptoms of heavy emotions, frequent depressed feelings, low energy, physical pain, trouble sleeping and eating, fear, low expectations for good outcomes, grief, guilt, overwhelm, general anxiety and stress. So we talk about how they want those anxiety symptoms to change. Mm -hmm. So for instance, this client was having the constant thought of this is never going to change and it's never going to get better. Yeah, I got to, I mean, I, I you know, I got to live like this and, and this is going to be a problem forever. Exactly right. So, so that's a really debilitating thought. So that's going to lead to a lot of anxiety. Yeah. In our talk, I help them realize that these kinds of thoughts firstly are not true and then how those negative thoughts are actually causing the symptoms and feelings of anxiety, fear, hopelessness, whatever it is. With anxiety, clients often have trouble figuring out what they actually want to be thinking and feeling. So in our talk, I help guide them to a realization of what those thoughts and feelings they want, what thoughts and feelings they want to be having in place of what they're releasing. So it's really a co-creative conversation where we you know, discover that stuff together. Okay. Yeah, and then I teach in the talk, the client, a lot of very empowering tools to use on their own. So we practice those techniques even before we do the hypnosis. Mm -hmm. And I record that as well as that talk, as well as the hypnosis session. So they have the instructions for any techniques or guidance that I give them. Oh, good, okay. Client shares with me where they want to imagine going in their hypnosis session. Um, often it's a place in nature where they've been before and they remember feeling really good. We all have a memory like that usually. Mm -hmm. So this client's place was at the top of a mountain, feeling amazing after the climb. Yeah, okay. Yeah, strong, confident, accomplished, spectacular view, all of that. I describe this to them in the hypnosis in such detail that even though they know they're with me in my office, they feel like they're on this mountaintop and all the amazing feelings that come with it. Mm -hmm. Because I do spiritual hypnosis, the client's spiritual support is always with them. And this is always just very magical, comforting and healing. Okay. So next we go through the anxiety thoughts, feelings and behaviors one by one. And the client releases them in whatever way we've kind of come up with in our talk. And then they bring in the calm and empowering thoughts and feelings that they want to take place of what's released. Okay. And as we know, what do we know about the subconscious mind? That it can't tell the difference oh, yes. between... <laughs> Real and imagined. Right, That's it doesn't right. know the doesn't difference. doesn't know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So um, they, it's filing a memory of this as a real life event. Okay. Um, and as we also know, the subconscious mind is in charge of 90% of our overall function. Okay. Yeah, so it will recreate... In, in you know the daily waking life it will recreate what we described okay so that's good obviously if it's recreating what we described you'd want to describe something good not bad right it's if all you know. positive all of it yeah. positive it all feels good okay um <clears throat> so the anxious thoughts and feelings the overwhelming grief and self-doubt the negative expectations all of this is released through the hypnosis session and now um even though nothing situationally has changed in the client's life since they walked into my door two hours prior, they feel 100% better. They're now in control. They're able to think and see things clearly um, and empowered to take those good actions, which will allow them to deal with the challenges. Um, they feel lighter in their grief, more hopeful, calm, relaxed, organized, and focused on creating their life the way they want it to be. 
and I record the hypnosis session, so they use that for reinforcement. So all of those thoughts you take and the feelings. Recording with you? Yeah. They, they, yeah, I send the recordings to yeah. them via email. They're oh, yeah. Dropbox what I, yeah. file. Yeah, you're not. Uh, here's a cassette tape. Good luck yeah. playing that. Yeah. <laughs> I used to make no, CDs. I, okay, oh, years okay. ago. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, yeah, it would be cassettes, uh, right. CDs, and now uh, MP3s. Right, right now it's easy. It's just all electronic. Ah, <sighs> and you get it. Well, that's right. that's a great thing uh, to have that for that the reinforcement. All right, Diane Jordan, uh, if you're interested in learning more about Diane's method of hypnosis or to make an appointment, you can call her for a free consult at Natural Body Works. Their number seven eight one five eight five five one three zero seven eight one. 585-5130 and be sure to tune in this time next week for another edition of more comfort monday thanks diane thank you have a